Uh, hey, it's a little update of the Bluetooth fire control unit I've been working on. I've put my Kuba based SR25 engine back in as the coil engine here. It uses an electromagnetic coil inside. Uh, that seems to be needing about 20 volts to actually actuate the nozzle at this point, so it's not really efficient enough to put and use in a gun in a game yet. So I'm back on this one. So, yeah, we've got our Bluetooth module, we've got an Arduino Nano as the fire control unit, we've got a little cheap solenoid valve down here, which I'll be upgrading to a Mac bullet valve as soon as that arrives, should be any week now. Uh, yeah, I've got the little switch in here for semi and auto currently, as the, I need to work on putting a micro switch in the actual gearbox. Uh, let's have a play. So I'm going to try and get this packaged with that all heat shrinked up nicely. Um, should hopefully be no bigger than like a commercial programmable MOSFET. So I've not changed the layout of the app because. It works. I'm not an app programmer. I'm not an Arduino programmer. I'm an electrical engineer. I don't do things other than wires. So, select our Bluetooth unit. So that should a solid red flash. There we go, connected. And we can recall the last values this was using. So, there we go. Um, okay. So we want semi to be semi, auto to be auto, no fire control, send. Here we go. Should. Nice, crisp semi auto. And we've still got it set on 50 rounds a second. Great fun. So let's give the uh, semi auto sniper delay a try because I've not actually tested this yet. For two seconds. Seems to be working great. Point eight seconds. Fantastic, that's what we like. Semi, four round burst. Seems to be working great. I can't wait to get this back in the gun. I've just put a new R hop in the barrel with the Lonex hop unit, which should help with the feeding issues the program has given me. Yeah, I'll post up more when I have it.